All right, we are so stoked to be here at the Flashback Retro Pub, and we're in the user lounge, which is kind of a private space. You can book this, right? For This is Jose, the owner. Hey, Jose. And you can book this for private events and stuff. All the games here are free, which is the killer thing about this. Um, my poor son, Justin, just said he, this is the third time in his life he's ever actually played a video game, and I feel like I have failed as a parent, but that's okay. We'll get him caught up. Um, Jose, why don't you tell us a little bit about some of the stuff you offer here and some of the drinks and stuff you do? Well, we have about 65 games to choose from, all cabinets. Uh, we don't carry pinball. That's the one thing we people ask us all the time. It's strictly just arcade cabinets. Um, we've been collecting these games for probably six, seven years now. So we have a pretty good collection. Besides what we have in here, we probably have about another 30 games or so in storage. Oh, wow. So we try to rotate some of the games in and out. And then we also use some of the other games for spare parts because the parts for these games are really hard to find. And um, it really, from one day to another, we just, we keep our fingers crossed when we turn everything on that the game's working. Just because they're 30, they're over 30 years old. So some of these games just kind of have a mind on their own sometimes. Um, other than that, besides the games, we have a great selection of craft beers. Uh, at any given time, we carry between 90 to 100 different craft beers, and we specialize on local and regional brews. So Oklahoma, we have about seven different, seven, eight different breweries that we carry, and then we carry at least one brewery from every surrounding state, some states more, like Colorado, we have like four. Uh, Texas, we have four. So as new breweries come into this market, into the state with all the law changes, uh, as long as they're within a surrounding state, we try to carry multiple of that same same brewery just to give everyone a dip, little bit different taste of different beers that are out there. Uh, we also have a great selection of signature drinks and shots, uh, ten each, and they're all they're all fun drinks. Uh, they're named after some '80s reference, whether it's a Ferris Bueller, a Flux Capacitor, a Darth Vader shot. Uh, they're all fun, and uh, people really enjoy them. So it's 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 fun just seeing the expression on people's faces when it's it's not just coming in here and playing the games. It's the overall experience from the drinks to the decor to everything that's here. Well, and I've heard there's like. Lots of people have their birthday parties and things here, and you guys do several events a year that are like 80s nights and 90s nights and stuff. Uh, we have kind of added to our little arsenal, we have the A-Team van, oh, which yeah. a lot of people have seen it around town, uh, but we, we just got the A-Team van probably about a month and a half, two months ago, and we'll bring it out and park it out front, and everyone just stops wanting to get a picture with it, so really it's cool. a lot of fun. That's really awesome. Thanks for letting us come in tonight. Oh, I appreciate you guys coming. I've been hearing that there is a new cool little neighborhood bar that you're actually working on right around the corner. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely, yes. Uh, we've been working on this concept for, I want to say about two years now, and we're finally at the point where we're probably about 60 days out from really getting this thing rolling. Uh, the bar is called uh, Sanctuary Barsilica. It's a little play on words. Um, it is a religious theme bar. Uh, which is going to be completely new to this market. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing the expression on people's faces when they come in. Um, it's not meant to be disrespectful in any way. It's just lighthearted. It's supposed to be fun. Uh, and it's supposed to spur conversations. So uh, one of the cool features of this bar is we're going to do karaoke. Uh, it'll be hosted karaoke. Uh, only difference is most of the other karaoke, or compared to other karaoke places in town, is when you come sing karaoke to our place, you have to put on a choir robe to come sing it. So we also uh, plan on having uh, bands on the weekends. Uh, besides that, we're going to have some fun games. We'll have foosball tables. We'll have some darts. And then we're going to have an amazing outdoor space that we are going to call the Garden of Eden, uh, which we're going to have a lot of fun with. So all around, it's just really going to be a fun just take uh, on a new concept that's going to be here in the market coming soon. Can we get a sneak peek? Absolutely. We'll give you guys a sneak peek. So this section is where Sanctuary is going to be uh, located. We're going to have a front patio that extends probably about 25, 30 feet out from the front. Uh, garage doors on both ends of it so we can basically open the garage doors and just let the music flow in and out, uh, as well as the patrons. Entering through the back door here is the back door Sanctuary. So you're instantly greeted by Jesus on the wall. He's looking towards the bar on purpose. It's directing you to go to the bar and get a drink. So 
Uh, this space here is about 2,500 square feet. Uh, we have a stage in the center that's about a 16 by 12 foot stage. So really good size for, for a band to play up there. Uh, we'll be able to have seating that's uh, that we can rearrange in this area here. Um, the, pat the patio area, the Garden of Eden will be back here. So it's a pretty big space. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun with this space. We're gonna put some planters down the middle, start growing some uh, trees. Um, we're gonna have artificial grass basically as the flooring for all this. So it'll really, we're gonna try to make as much of a green space as possible and just have a lot of fun with it. Uh, look to do some art from some public or some uh, local artist to do some stuff on some of the walls here. That's how, really tie in. I am going to have an apple tree. Yes, this is a good question. I've been asked, yes, we are going to have an apple tree out here. You won't be able to eat the apples, but yeah. Yeah, we don't want people eating the apples. We'd like to. We are going to have a lot of themed drinks here. So they are all going to be Bible-based names for all the drinks. Um, we, we haven't fully released what they're going to be yet. We're going to, we're kind of keeping those tight lipped, but, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So we'll do some drinks and we'll do some shots, uh, a little bit different, um, twist on some different cocktails. Again, I'm trying not to divulge too much here, but, um, it'll be, it'll be a really fun list and it'll be a great list. And I think people are really going to enjoy it. So, awesome. yep. All right. And we'll head back inside real quick. Uh, the bar over here. It's actually about a 24 foot bar, so it's a little bit smaller than Flashback's bar. Flashback, just comparing, that's a 30 foot bar that's over there. Uh, but we have a little bit less space at the bar because we want people to really just kind of be out and enjoying their time here. Um, but this is this will give you some of the uh, an idea of what the front of the bar is going to look like. So there's different etchings that we've done, different biblical figures that we'll use. About 60 days out, uh, just follow us on social media for all the updates, and we'll be posting really when we're, this thing's about to get rolling, so look forward, look forward to having you guys back. <laughs>